Assalamu alaikum. Hello everybody. Today we will continue our lecture about ultrasound assessment of acute female pelvic pain, the fourth and the last part. Case 11. A 19 years old woman presents to the emergency department with a sudden onset of right lower quadrant pain and is found to have an elevated white blood cells count. Physical examination reveals lower abdominal pain and cervical motion tenderness. The patient denies experiencing nausea, vomiting, a fever, shells, dysuria, or vaginal bleeding. What is the likely diagnosis based on the ultrasound findings? Ultrasound findings Normal right and left ovaries with normal flow. Normal appearing uterus. At the point of maximal tenderness, a dilated non-compressible hyperemic appendix. It is important to evaluate the site of pain. The answer is acute appendicitis. Appendicitis. It is acute obstruction of the appendicular lumen, causes distension, ischemia, superimposed infection, and possibly perforation. Signs and symptoms Abdominal pain that begins in a peri umbilical location and migrates to the right lower abdominal quadrant. McBurney point tenderness, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and fever. Ultrasound is the imaging method of choice for evaluating children but is often non-diagnostic. Utility of ultrasound versus CT as the primary imaging method for evaluation of adults is debated. Ultrasound findings Echogenic appendicular with acoustic shadow Non-compressible, blind and tubular structure with a diameter of more than 6 mm. Fluid collection or abscess in the right lower abdominal quadrant. Important to note, non-visualization of the appendix at imaging doesn't necessarily allow the exclusion of appendicitis from the differential diagnosis. Case 12. A 32 years old woman presents to the emergency department with left lower quadrant abdominal pain since the morning. Pelvic examination reveals cervical motion tenderness and adenexal tenderness. What is the likely diagnosis based on the ultrasound findings shown? Ultrasound findings Normal appearance of bilateral ovaries and uterus. Circumferential thickening and hyperemia of the sigmoid colon wall in the left lower quadrant and hyperechoic inflamed fat. The answer is diverticulitis of the sigmoid colon. Diverticulitis is inflammation with or without perforation of colonic diverticuli. Most often involves the sigmoid colon. Signs and symptoms Left lower quadrant, colicky pain, tenderness, palpable mass, fever, change in bowel habits. CT is the imaging method of choice. Ultrasound findings should be further evaluated with CT. Ultrasound findings, bowel wall thickening to more than 4 mm, diverticular pouches, pericolic inflammation. Bericolic fluid collection or abscess, and hyperemia of bericolic fat. Case 13. A 43 years old woman presents to the emergency department with an acute onset of sharp intermittent pain in the right lower abdominal quadrant with associated nausea and vomiting. The patient denies experiencing a fever or chills. What is the likely diagnosis based on the imaging findings? Ultrasound findings Multiple loops of fluid filled small bowel throughout the abdomen. CT findings 
Second terminal ilium, multiple loops of dilated small bowel, free fluid within the pelvis. The answer is inflammatory bowel disease, Crohn's disease. Chronic inflammatory disease of the gastrointestinal tract, including number one, Crohn's disease, which is non-contiguous involvement of the entire thickness of the mucosa throughout the gastrointestinal tract from mouth to anus. Number two, ulcerative colitis, which is contiguous involvement of the gastrointestinal tract, typically starting at the rectum and continuing proximally with superficial mucosal involvement. Signs and symptoms Abdominal pain, diarrhea, anorexia, weight loss, low-grade fever, muscle aches, and fatigue. Endoscopy and colonoscopy are the diagnostic techniques of choice, which helps number one, direct visualization of the bowel lesions, number two, biopsy to confirm diagnosis. Imaging may be used for further workup. Number one, CT and MRI imaging findings include bowel wall thickening, increased vascularity, abscess, fat stranding, and lymphadenopathy. Number two, fluoroscopic findings include luminal narrowing, cobblestone like appearance of bowel wall, mucosal edema. Mucosal ulcers, fistulas, stricture, skip lesions, and abnormal appearance of hostra. Number three, ultrasound findings include bowel wall thickening. The last case in our lecture today is case 14. A 26 years old woman presents to the emergency department with severe right lower quadrant abdominal pain. This proportionate to pressure applied during palpation. What is the likely diagnosis based on the ultrasound findings shown? Ultrasound findings Normal right and left ovaries Normal uterus Ureteral stone in the right uterovesical junction and hydronephrosis of the right kidney. The answer is Stone obstructing the right urethrovesical junction. Renal stone. It is a solid concretion or crystal aggregation formed in the renal collecting system. It may or may not be obstructive. When non-obstructive, may be asymptomatic. Signs and symptoms may be dependent on the location and may include. If it is kidney stone, there is flank pain and fever. If it is ureteric stone, there is acute colky pain secondary to ureteral peristalsis radiating to the groin. If it is bladder stone, there is dysuria, dull or sharp pain radiating to the botox, perineum, and genitalia. CT is the imaging method of a choice. Non-contrast enhanced CT allows direct visualization of stones, although matrix and endenavir stones might not be seen. Secondary CT findings include number one, soft tissue rim sign, secondary to urethral wall edema due to the presence of a stone, number two, hydronephrosis, hydrouretral, perinephric and or periurethral inflammatory stranding, number three, Urethrovesical junction edema surrounding a calculus. Ultrasound findings include number one, bright hyperechoic focus with acoustic shadow often accompanies a stones larger than five millimeters in diameter. Twinkle artifact allows detection of smaller stones. Depiction of stone is best in kidney or at urethrovesical junction poorest and mediurator. Number two, presence of urethral jet from urethrovesical junction into bladder allows exclusion of obstructing stone.